All right, in this video, we're going to be starting with an equation in slope-intercept form. We're going to use y equals mx plus p to graph it. The way we do this is we start with the y-intercept, the b form. We graph this point on the y-axis. This is just a single dot that we start from. Second, we count in increments of the slope. m is the slope. We're going to count in incre increments of the slope from the y-intercept several times to plot more points. Don't forget to go in the negative direction. And lastly, we're going to carefully draw a line using a straight edge to connect the points. It's always good to graph several points before you connect them with a, with a line. So let's try some examples. So here we have y equals 1 half x minus 3. Again, our starting point is the y-intercept, which is on the y-axis, negative 1, 2, 3. So we're going to graph that as our starting point. Our slope is 1 half, that is rise 1, run 2. So there's our second point. We want to graph this several times. Rise 1, run 2. We can go in the negative direction. Rise negative 1, run negative 2. And now we're going to use a straight edge to connect these points. A straight edge does not have to be a ruler. Here's a piece of scratch paper, which we are folding in half and folding in half again. Just a scratch paper folded twice makes a perfectly good straight edge. And then we connect the, the dots for the line. And there's our answer. So let's try another one. y equals negative 3x plus 2. Our y-intercept is plus 2. Our slope is negative 3 fourths, which means we go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and run 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We also want to try the negative of this, which would be go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then run negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, we'll grab our straight edge, and we'll connect these points to the straight line. And there's our graph. Lastly, what happens if we don't have a y-intercept? y equals 5 thirds x doesn't look like it's in the form y equals mx plus b. But it really is. What exactly is being added? We're actually adding 0. So our y-intercept in this case is 0. So I'm going to plot the first point 0. And then I count in increments of the slope again. Rise 5, run 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to go in the negative direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. And again, I take my straight edge. And I connect the points. So there's my answer. 